Howdy, howdy, good neighbors. Go make America great again. Go, go, go. Think love. Plant them flowers. Share them flowers. And God be trust. Why not? All right, today is Friday, June the 16th, I think, but it's definitely Friday after late afternoon. Woo! Howdy, howdy, good neighbor. Go make America great again. Go, go, go. Think love. Plant them flowers. Share them flowers. And God be trust. Why not? And, uh, okay, it's Friday afternoon. Uh, people coming down the hill, I'm assuming, are coming home from work. Maybe they're going to Emory University. And people going up the hill, I'm assuming, are leaving em uh, Emory University at the end of the day. So coming coming down the hill and up the hill, I think, are leaving Emory in general. And coming down the hill this way are coming home, back into the neighborhood. Howdy, howdy, good neighbors. Go make America great again. Go, go, go. Think love. Plant sunflowers. Just sunflowers. That will fix everything. And God we trust. Why not? Howdy, howdy, good neighbors. Go make America. Hey, watch your finger. There's that old living in the neighborhood, young man. I hope I got them. I may, I may not have gotten them on the camera, but I hope I did. This young man driving the truck. Okay, this is what I have today. Uh, Glenn Memorial, United Methodist Church. Our purpose, loving God, loving neighbor. Good neighbor day, first Saturday after Labor Day. So if you can't understand what I'm saying, read along with me. Okay. Um... They actually have a website. Glen Memorial is the, is the United Methodist Church located on the Emory campus, which is a secular Methodist liberal arts and science campus, university research center, Canada School of Theology, and uh, th that house called the street for me. Uh, when I first moved into the house with an old man and old woman by the name of Bob and Janet Gary, I didn't you know meet anybody from that house until th after living here several years, and uh, that was when the old lady crossed over to my side of the street first. Uh, all excited about having been approached by a property developer offering them twice the value of that lot to sell on the condition that it was all seven consecutive lots that side of the tree, up the, up the hill, Claremont Avenue. And uh, this is number seven, and they weren't interested in the corner lot. That's what Janet would tell me. Janet told me all this. I'm hearing it for the first time. That was, you know, I've been living in the house several years, a few couple of years, two or three years before I even met anybody from that house. We didn't have a sidewalk down this side of the street when I first moved in the house, and we didn't, we didn't have a sidewalk by then. And... Um, um, but he's retired from Canada School of Theology, and she's uh, with somebody else's secretary. That's what she told me, somebody else's secretary. Um, but, um, but according to her Facebook page, she's uh, studied chemistry and math, Janet Gary. I thought she was just a simple preacher's wife. But as I got to know, her and got to know them, that, that broke the ice. And as time went on, it turned out her husband was a preacher, retired from Canada School of Theology, and, um, and well-known pastoral, known nationally, probably, to them. And um, uh, so don't let the modest appear and fool you. That's not how it works with the money. That is the money is not how it works with the university setting. Uh, their ego is all wrapped up in their status and their uh, canonical theology, picking America's future leader. So that's where they get their, their status and ego. So don't let the modest appear and fool you. Well, they since moved out, claimed it was in large part due to me, and now their daughter, who's the senior pastor at Mount Zion, it, and her husband own that house. So I don't know what's going on with that house. Oh, they have they moved into it or what? So um, I think their bought, daughter bought it and her husband bought it, and I guess they're living it now. They, they, are, they are, they just moved into it. Okay, so that's the memorial. She's with Mount Zion. They have a son that's with uh, Al Watt, which is a small black church. I think he had a midlife crisis and got a divorce. And, and um, I think, you know, um, he wants to be a writer. And uh, I told him, like I said to Bob, well, why, why can't he be a writer? Just call it fiction. All he has to do is make sense. Why can't he be both a writer and a preacher? Just call it fiction. All he has to do is make sense. And, um, but according to a block site, um, um, it sounded like he had a uh, been like crisis and moved out of California for a little while, and then he moved back, and now he's back into um, pastoral care. Now, uh, uh, once you're ordained a method of minister, you're, you're guaranteed a job placement, especially, I guess, especially those that are father of George Robert Gary's in your doctor of theology. So, uh, silence equals consent, uh, dead or alive, dialogue equals purgatory, dead or alive. If you have genuine dialogue, you're, somebody's going to have to sacrifice them. That's what dialogue is all about. And any attempt to evade dialogue is, is manipulation, deception, pernicious, prevarication, looking the other way, if you're the knowledge, pain, and ignorance. It's all. Um, um, uh, how you evade, uh, how you go about evading the dialogue. Okay. Um, yeah, as it relates to John 3, 16, God, uh, God is nothing more than a congeniality by their side, pro-life, uh, pro-life, their side short. Congen congeniality by a 
pro-life like this, I thought you were. That's all God is. No way to get around it. Howdy, howdy again, David. Go make America great again. Go, go, go. Think love. Plant the flower. Just the flower. That'll fix everything. And God retracts. Why not? I didn't know there was thought behind me. So, um, and, then, and then fuck you. You thought that man. Uh, well, at least you heard me yell back at him and uh, give me the finger. Fuck you is the number one opinion I get. About the only opinion I get by people driving by my house. And I paired it with nothing but a thought terminate cliche. That's the incentive not to use it. And yet, uh, people thought it wasn't better because I spelled it out. I already had a sign for several, you know, for over a year that said, take one to masturbate, two to procreate, three, one, anybody, fuck, fuck, fuck. That's the definition of a conspiracy. At a minimum, two against one, that's a conspiracy. Um, or you think of it this way, uh, Jesus and Nazareth, uh, Jesus and uh, Nazareth, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Uh, take one to masturbate, two to procreate. You don't get any uh, procreate until you get down to the Holy Ghost. Poor Mary, they turned her into a sandwich. Poor, poor Mary. And then I had nobody, but I felt it with the asterisk. Fuck, fuck, fuck with the asterisk. Nobody complained. Well, leave not to me. And then I had God. I got to be the biggest motherfucker of them all. If we are going you know, to, I had a question mark at the bottom. If we're going to find God to be an omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, omnibenevolent, he better goddamn won't be the biggest motherfucker of them all. Well, he got the more grown to do before he can claim that title. Well, I could possibly be bigger. Oh, dear God, no. His mother. Obviously, I'm having mother issues. Again, we're back to Mary. Uh, now, 2,000 years later, though, uh, I think that, that um, what Jesus was to do was nothing more than um, hit the offer, dodge away of trying to get women. You know, women back then had no say so in politics or even who they were married off to with their, you know, by their family. Had no say so. So, in my opinion, back then, you cannot, and if you're, living, if you're living life that way, you cannot sin. So, but nowadays, 2,000 years later, I have of the world, the Western half, we have a lot more freedom. Women have a lot more freedom, mobility, more choices, more control over their life. So they can be just as guilty as men, our half of the world, compared to women, the other half of the world. And um, uh, so uh, that's a lot more people to be guilty in the Western half. Woo, woo! Howdy, howdy, good neighbors. Go make America great again. Go, go, go. Think love. Let that flower. Just the flower. The God of the not? If they will slow down, I'll slow down. But they won't. Anyway, three monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, big no evil. Uh, just, uh, being a sound mind, body, and action. They also mean looking the other way. We feel the knowledge, pain, and anger. And people are just uh, triangulating their congeniality bias off each other. And it doesn't work. Not going to hang them. Rose was massacred. He was so big to barricade. He's so black, that boy. Pernitioner. Okay, so here's what I'm doing today. At God's house is middle of our street. I'd rather not go there. But there is a sidewalk running down my street. Boy, was that a sure he's wasting the money. How the hell did one prostitution lie on a sidewalk like this? It's going to take me a little while to get this thing adjusted. <laughs> this is what I'm doing today. <laughs> Truth be God, universal one and ten, why not? Trust! Look at that giving to me about the first time I met in the church, the first time I was there, when I graduated uh, as a gift in our uh, senior year, graduating high school. That was down. One of the ways to our senior year to give it the Bible, and it's just now coming in handy. I haven't read my far from reading, haven't read the whole Bible, but at least I read more, more, more of the Bible than most Christians have. I'm atheist, by the way. Truth be God, universe one is said, why not? Why not? Woo! Woo! Truth be God, you first one of death, why not? God is God, why not? Oh, here's some of the other ones. Bear with me, I know I can't sing. No, I can't sing. To get a fire going and soon all over the room, get warm up in the cold. That's how it is with God's love. What you do? Hey, watch your finger. That don't do anything either. You spread it love to everyone you want to pass it on. It only takes a spark to get a fire going. Woo! That was going to get me arrested. Yeah, I'm going to take him up probation. Well, I started January 20th, so I'm going to have to take him up probation now.
I just had a probation here, uh, a closed blinds hearing the other day. Oh, all over these things. Should be uh, December 25th, why not? Why uh, not? There was a little bird, no bigger than a turd. Sitting on a telegraph pole. I'm going to have a in ship like that. Like holy wine. Tastes still bitter yet so sweet. Oh, I, I could drink a case of you. You'd still be standing on my feet. Want you to start it on a killing. First, you make a stone of your heart. And if you find your hands are so willing, whoop, you can turn a murder into art. Murder by number. One, two, three. It's a thing you learn at JBC. If you want to understand that, go to Wikipedia and look at what it, Wikipedia has to say about something. Look at what Wikipedia has to say about Humpty Dumpty and go down into it where he's having a uh, conversation with Alice in Wonderland. Woo! Hey, howdy, howdy, good neighbors. Go make America great again. Go, go, go. Woo! Think it up. Put the flower. Shift the flower. Think it up. Turn one up. Woo! Howdy, howdy, partner. Go make America great again. Go, go, go. Woo! Howdy, howdy, good neighbor. Howdy, Merrick. Woo! 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 Could be God, you had to work one and said, why not? And God we trust, why not? Truth be God, universe one and said, why not? And God we trust, why not? Oh, they hate me here. They hate me with a passion they Truth be God, universe one and said, why not? He's laughing. And God we trust, why not? Now, the reason why I'm doing, you know, when I'm dancing, because at God's house in the middle of our street, I'd rather not go there. But there is a sidewalk running down my side of the street. Boy, was it a huge waste of money. Should be God, you know, verse 1 and said, why not? And God, we trust, why not? Should be God, you know, verse 1 and said, why not? There's a $2 bill sticking out of the Bible. You know, if you're tied to a certain percentage of your, your income, for sure, you're goddamn well going to get your money back. Even though that means faking, you know. You know, it takes, you know, Believe and take practice. I always have and I always will. So why would someone go to that trouble practicing faith? They're not going to do that unless they're getting something out of it. Some, security, some type of security, comfort, or, or money. I don't like the corporate confession when they corporate it out. Truth be God, universe one and said, why not? Be God and trust, why not? Truth be God, universe one and said, why not? In God we trust, why not? The first car was laughing. Truth be God, universe one and said, why not? In God we trust, why not? Truth be God, universe one and said, why not? In God we trust, why not? Oh, right, I'm going to turn this thing off. It's all good. I can't really think of anything new to say. I'll never understand what I'm saying.